So now that we learned about Poisson arrival process, we can talk about uh, the notations. How do we how do we show how do we characterize a queuing system? So these are we characterize a queuing system with six characters basically. So the first one talks about arrival distribution. So when you put M here, it means the arrival distribution is memoryless or follows an exponential distribution. If I put, for example, normal, zero, normal, sorry, 50 and one, it means the arrival process follows a normal distribution with the mean of 50 and variance or some deviation of one, for example. But we usually put M over there. Or if I put E5 means it follows an airline distribution with k equals five. We will talk about that later. The next one talks about the service distribution. All right. So the first one could be M, it could be D, it could be Erlang, it could be G. What are these? M stands for uh, memoryless. D stands for uh, uh, deterministic, which means I can put, for example, if I put D, equals five, it means inter-arrival is always exactly five. Every five minutes, exactly, you get a new part coming in that has applications in automated manufacturing. And ERK means that arrival has an airline distribution with K equals whatever value is, five or whatever. And G means general distribution, which means anything can be there or we cannot assign a specific distribution to the arrival process, it can be anything. We are talking about the system whose arrivals could be anything, basically. And then service distribution, same things, same values can go there, but usually again, we put M over there at this in this course, which means the service distribution is also uh, exponential. Next one, next character is the number of parallel servers, number of servers. If you put five or, or three or two, it means how many servers or how many lines are there in that queuing system. For example, you're describing a, a, a hospital or a bank. And then the next character is the queuing discipline that we learned about. It's basically how, how do we choose people from the line? How do we serve people? In what order? First come, first serve, last come, first serve, select in random order, or general discipline. General discipline means could be anything. It's not limited to a specific uh, discipline. And then there is a capacity. We usually put G here, which means uh, it has a general distribution, GD. And then we put a C here, which is the capacity of the system. For example, if it's 10, once there are 10 people in the system, including in the line and being served, uh, we do not, we close the doors, we do not let any anyone in. And then this last one is the population that enter the system, population size. For example, if you're talking about, uh, Walmart, there is no, the population size is practically infinite, which means anyone in the world can go to this specific Walmart store. So there's no cap on it. I, I just put infinite there. Uh, but if I put, for example, 100, I'm talking about maintenance of, a, of airplanes for an airline because they only have 100 airplanes, um, the population of Arrivals is just 100. All right, now I want you to let me know what this system is. What does it mean? It means, so I, I tell you that I'm working with a company. This is how, uh, this is their queuing system. How many servers do they have? So arrival is exponential. 
service rate, service process is also exponential. There's only one server or one line, one queue. And there's a general discipline for picking people from the line. Infinite capacity, there's no capacity in the system and anyone could go to that, join that line. So infinite population size. Next one uh, is similar to the previous one, except people are chosen randomly from the line and the system has a capacity of 10. Next one is has also a memoryless or exponential arrival process, but um, the service process Erlang with K equals five. There are five servers and last come first serve is the queuing discipline, the queue discipline and no cap, infinite population size. And usually, usually when these three characters are general discipline and infinite capacity, infinite population size, when, whenever that's the case, we just drop them. So instead of writing all six characters, we, we only write the first three. What does that mean? Arrival process is exponential. Service process is general, could be anything. And we had infinite number of servers. Is that possible to have infinite number of servers? Or can you think of an example where you can have infinite servers? Think of an application. So these are like servers, which means, uh, for example, the number of cashiers that serve people who are waiting in line. One example of this is actually, uh, mobile app for, for example, US Bank. As soon as you log in, you can use the server. You, you're being served. You don't wait in line, right? So there, it's like infinite servers. The last one also has uh, infinite servers, but also, but the only difference is that it's it picks people first come first serve, which doesn't make any difference because you don't even form a line when there are infinite servers. Okay, now. Uh, I want you to fill this out later on, or maybe think about it right now to summarize, because these notations are very important. And we, and we call them Kendall Lee notation, because they came up with these uh, abbreviations and notations. 